With the sound of the stomping footsteps behind, Chijoke and his twin brother Ejike ran as fast as their legs could carry them. Thief, catch them! The angry mob roared. The swiftness of Chijoke and Ejike's legs were unparalleled match to the mob. They dodged behind the uncompleted house. At last, it was a deafening silence. Chijoke sighed. Ejike, check the wallet. How much is it? 5,000 Naira. It's enough to pay for our university entrance exam. Ejike made a sign of cross and kissed the wallet. Keep dreaming we have found our niche. The high time you accept, the better for all of us. As soon as they step in their home, their mother spotted the wallet in Ejike's hand. Boys, I believe you have a surprise for me. She snapped the wallet from his fingers. Not bad at all, she exclaimed in delight. Here, take this bottle of you, handing them 200 naira each. Thank God we can now pay for the landlord's last month rent and have peace in this compound. She hissed and walked inside her room. Chijoke whispered closely to Ejike's ear. Mr. University, be thankful that you have a roof over your head. Tomorrow we go again. How can a twin who shares same biological traits, so identical outwardly, but at polar opposite in terms of dreams and aspirations? Ejike wondered. He entered the toilet and emptied his pocket, grateful that he hid some part of the money from the wallet. He began counting the Crips Naira note. Tears well up in his eyes as he realized that he had complete money for the university entrance fee. Twins have a special connection. Chijoke knew that Ejike was hiding something from him, but he couldn't pinpoint what it was. He seems cheerful as of late, he observed. Two months later, Chijoke and his twin brother were getting ready for another day of pocket picking adventure. Chijoke, this is my last day. As of tomorrow, I'm turning into a new leaf. Chijoke smack in disbelief. I've gained admission to the University of Lagos and I've paid for the school fees. You are currently looking at the future lawyer. Ejike blotted out proudly. It was as if Chijoke was frozen in spot as Ejike relayed the whole experience of exam taking to university acceptance. He felt strangely alone and betrayed. Say congratulations. Ejike nudged him gently on the shoulder. Congrats. Chijoke replied as he wiped the tears that well up in his eyes. Pickpocket is a skill Chijoke has mastered as he kept looking for unsuspecting folks to steal from. It was 4.30 p.m. and most people were returning back from work, targeting an elderly woman who was standing by making a phone call. As she dropped her phone in her bag, Chijoke tapped Ejike, it's time. Within a swift second, Chijoke has gotten hold of the bag and was speedily crossing the road. Ejike was marking him closely as both raced as their lives depended on it. Thief! Ole! Catch them! The woman cried out. A big truck blocked the road ahead. Let's follow the next street. Ejike screamed at Chijoke. No, we can still pass under the truck. Ejike ignored his brother and entered the next street. Chijoke screaming at the top of his lungs, legs squeezed ourselves in between the tires, only to realize that he was alone. Terrified of his brother's safety, he started running back. Set him on fire, the angry crowd roared. No, wait for the police. Where is the bag? Evil child. Within seconds, they hung a tire on Ejike's neck and set him ablaze. Chijoke couldn't believe his eyes. It was as if his life has come to an abrupt end. Just within seconds, his twin is no more. It was an unsightly, gory event as Ejike struggled with the fire. Weeping uncontrollably, he immediately dodged the scene as the police car was fast approaching and the mob were speedily dispersing from the scene. Chijoke reached home and saw his mother in the porch drinking beer. It has been like this lately as she waits for them to hand her the money 
they make from their pocket picking adventure. They have killed my brother. AGK is dead. He was caught and set on fire by the angry mob. The mother let out a loud cry. Use the end of her wrapper to wipe her tears. Turned to Chijoke and said, How much did you make today? Your younger siblings are hungry. I need to rush to the market to buy some food before the market closes. Chijoke was jolted back to reality with this question and was startled by his mother's behavior. That is it. There goes AGK's what? A minute of tear. Chijoke went to the room, picked up AGK's university acceptance letter. He couldn't believe that AGK was accepted to study law. He smiled at the reflection of himself in the mirror. Who will ever know that I'm not AGK? Next week, school starts, he whispered to himself.